Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Marshall, Professor and Chair of the Department of Strategic Communication in the School of Global Journalism and Communication at Morgan State University. I'm bringing you greetings from Zagreb. It's hard to believe that right here in Croatia, they heard the cries of racial injustice coming from the U.S. And I'm told not too far from where I'm standing, you could hear the shouts of Black Lives Matter and also justice for George Floyd. In our continuing series of examining black life across the globe, we take a look at what happened here in Croatia last summer and get a read of how black people are doing here in this special WEAA on assignment report. Take a walk in the center of town in Zagreb and your eyes can't keep up with all that's going on around you. Food, shops, luxury, people, all coming at you fast from every direction. But when you look around, what you may not see here during your visit is anyone black. Croatia is one of the most homogeneous countries around. Most of the population are Croatians. It's estimated that there are fewer than 300 blacks in this country of 4 million. But last year, during the racial justice movement in the U.S., Zagreb became a ground zero for protests in the region. Croatia was one of more than 35 European countries that hosted rallies and marches in support. Systemic racism and discrimination is not just a problem of the United States. And I hope we all understand that, whether you are black or white, it should be a collective responsibility. That's Abdullah Job, one of the protest organizers and a leader of Black Lives Matter Zagreb. He's from the Gambia, attending university here. More than 500 people came out in support. Reflecting on matters a year later, he says what's happened here has made a difference, inspiring other rallies in other parts of the country. Um, it is sad for me to see another black person and I don't, I don't care if I know them or not, whether they're from my country or not, whether they speak a different language, but seeing that happening to a person that looks like me, you know, it's very nerve-wracking and very uncomfortable because who knows the same thing can happen to me. And it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't happen to him just because he's an American. It happens to people who are not American citizens. You know, I think so that that alone is something that can motivate me or anyone anyone else from any part of the world to say, you know, I am going to be part of the bandwagon. I'm I'm going to be part of, you know, those people that are advocating for a change and then showing their a disgust about the things that are happening to other black people. And while many blacks say there are no issues with systemic racism here or police brutality, they say there are isolated incidences of racism and microaggression, some documented in online blogs. Problems or not, people here say they support Black Lives Matter as a sign of global solidarity. Well, we were all feeling it as a George, as a brother father and uh, of course as a black brother and father and then when that thing happened we all feel pain because of after the end of the day if you take it by yourself it could happen to you it can happen to anyone else who's close to you or whatever so why not which is kind of like those things are happening a lot of time everywhere else but this last one was the most you know touchful eh? For us, I mean, for me, the one I, I, I actually saw by my own eye, you know, with this video was posting out and everything. Then we say to ourselves, why not? We are also here. The same thing can happen to us as well. So from now on, let's try to show them that whatever happened, we will always be together and then we will support each other. One of the more familiar faces in Zagreb is Okoli Kikoloma from Nigeria. She's known as Mama V. Everybody knows her. She runs Mama Vic's Kitchen, a place where you can come and eat and pay whatever you have, even if you have no money to pay, regardless of race. Donations keep the work going. She's making a life here with her three children. Why do we care? Come on. We are human. We have to. We have to. We, we share the same DNA. We, we share the same blood. It's not <laughs> everything that we have is together. The skin is just the outer uh, look, but inside we share same. And uh, when we die, we go same place. So it's uh, 
it has to be universal thing it's not just america america is a is a big country that uh, <laughs> not every i have a lot of friends that is from america that is living also here in croatia so <laughs> i have also family my sister my brothers live in america so <laughs> it's uh, it's it's something that it's worth to uh protest and to talk about it in I peace Ibor Korvalix is a Croatian journalist who covers political and social issues for the online publication Total Croatia News. TCN is a reporting partner for this WEAA on assignment project. And of course in American landscape you have again people, journalists who talk about how police has racial bias, each of trigger fingers and how black people just do not have the same opportunities as white people in America and that that's a problem. And then, of course, unfortunately, you have conservatives who say that that's all lie, that black people are, that the, the reason police shoots at black people is because they don't abide the law and that kind of stuff. And so, depending on are you a conservative or liberal in Croatia, you're inclined to believe one side over the other. And of course, we don't have the experience to actually go to America and see for ourselves what is really happening. So these are like the issues when we, that comes when about particularly the case of George Floyd and other uh, shootings in the USA. In the end, this small European nation says it has a lot to say about issues on the world stage piped into the country via TV news and on social media. While they debate in Parliament internal issues of treatment of migrants at the border and issues of alleged pockets of corruption, the country, some say, has an obligation to also speak on global issues. And I think we are all global citizens and we live in a, in a global world, a globalized world. And uh, we can now completely see how something that is happening in another corner of the earth really in a time comes to us as well. So we are all connected and societies are more connected than ever and we cannot just you know put a blind eye on something that is going on in the US and we do think that the struggle for equality is a global struggle and we have to support each other in that struggle because otherwise we will not get there and and the situation with um, black lives matter uh, movement in the u.s was one of the really um, symbols actually not only of the fight in u.s for the equality but globally as well you know um, and when we see what is the situation with migrant people in europe how discriminated they are, uh, subjected to violence on borders, how many of them actually die in trying to get the shore, to, to get to the shores of Europe. And, and you can see how these inequalities, which are not always racial, they're more and more economical, and they will be more and more ecological, and uh, 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 actually in, uh, um, uh, incented by, by the climate change. So when we see all that, how many inequalities there are, every fight for equality is a global fight, I think, you know. Even with all the success, Black Lives Matter says there's still a lot more work to do, eradicating racism of any kind, promoting the fair treatment of everyone in Croatia, and educating people about the contributions of black people here. Sometimes that can be very helpful. I'm not doing any of this to receive any recognition or to receive any kind of um, applaud from anyone else. And that makes it even easier for me. When you're doing a job and without having any expectation, it makes it even easier for you. So that's what I believe in. So are we doing a great job? I believe we are. Is it something to be proud of? I guess. <laughs> in Zagreb, I'm Dr. David Marshall for WEAA on assignment.